So now we have our auth stream set up, we want to be able to use it at the root of our application. So that at the very top of the app, we're tracking the user auth status. Is a user logged in or are they not? Because then inside the wrapper widget, we can display either the authentication screen or the home screen dependent on that. If the result we get back from the auth change stream is null, they are logged out and we want to show the authenticate widget. If the result we get back from the auth change stream is a valid user object, they are signed in and we want to show the home screen. So we want a way to provide that stream data to the root widget so that it can listen to those auth changes and pass that information down below. Now we're going to be doing this by using a package called provider, which allows us to do just this and is actually a Google recommended solution for state management in Flutter. So the way the provider package works is that we can wrap a widget tree in a provider. Now we can supply a stream to that provider like the auth change stream. Then whenever we get new data in that stream, the provider makes it accessible to any of its descendants in the widget tree. This means that whenever a user either logs in or logs out, the Firebase auth change stream will send either a null or a user object, which we can then access in our widget tree, in particular in this wrapper, so that we can determine based on that whether to show this side if the user is signed in or this side if the user is signed out. So let's install the provider package now and see how to use it. All right then, so this is the provider package we want to install. I'm going to leave this link down below if you want to go and check it out yourself. And if you click on installing, you can see this is the thing right here we have to paste into our pubspec file. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the pubspec.yaml file and I'm going to paste in this provider package right here so that it installs. I'm going to save that and then I'm going to click off this file. And the first thing I want to do is go to the main.dart file. This is the root widget right here. Okay. So what we want to do is surround this or wrap this material app widget with the provider. That way we're providing the user data through that stream to all of the widgets beneath this widget right here, including this wrapper, which is where we want to access it. So to do this, we need to wrap this material app in a provider. So I'm going to place my cursor on material app, go to the action menu, and then go to wrap with new widget. So this new widget right here, this is going to be a provider. In particular, it's going to be a stream provider. So I'm going to type out stream provider. And to do this, we need to import the provider package at the top. So let me just do that. I'm going to say import and then provider. And it's this one right here, provider.dart. And then on this stream provider, we actually use a method called value. And inside this is where we can specify what stream we actually want to listen to and what data do we expect to get back. So I'm going to say value, and this is the stream we're going to listen to, is auth service, and let's just import that, and dot user. Remember, when we created the user stream, if we open up the services and go to auth down here, we called it user. So we're creating an instance of auth service, which is that class, and accessing the user stream on it. And it automatically imported that for me when I tabbed on this auth service. So now we have that sorted right here. We're now listening to this stream inside this widget using the stream provider, this provider package right here. Okay, so we have a value inside that stream provider specifying what stream we're going to listen to. Then inside that as well, we also have a child property, which is the material app. And inside the material app, we have the wrapper. So now this stream provider is listening to this stream and it's wrapping this material app. And now that means anything inside this, all this descendant widgets can now access the data provided by this stream. But there's one thing missing at the minute. We have to specify what kind of data we're going to be listening to in this stream. Now we're going to be listening for user data because remember, if we go to the auth file again, we can see that right here we have this stream and that returns a user data type. So 
over here in main.dart again, we can specify that that is what data is going to be coming down this stream by using angle brackets and then saying user. Now we have to import this, which is why we have a red squiggly line. So let me go to import that at the top and it's in the models folder and then it's user.dart. Okay, so that's the first step done. We're now surrounding or wrapping the root widget with this stream provider. We're providing this stream to the root widget. And that means now inside this wrapper widget, which sits below the root widget, we can access this user data whenever we get some. Because remember, this stream is actively listening for authentication events. When a user signs in, we're going to get that user. When a user signs out, we're going to get some kind of null value. So when this change occurs, we can listen for that now inside the wrapper. So let's go over now to the wrapper. If I go to screens and then at the bottom over here, wrapper, we can try accessing this data. So we do this inside the build method right here because we need the context. And what I'm going to do is say final user. So I'm just making up this variable. I've called it user. You can call it what you want, but it makes sense to call it user since that's what we're trying to access. And we need to say provider. We're using the provider package here. And I'm going to tab on that so it imports it for me. Provider. Then we use a method called dot of and we specify in angle brackets what kind of data we're trying to receive here where well, we want user data and then we invoke that and pass in the context. So first of all, we need to import user again. So at the top, let's say import and it's going to be in the models folder again and it's the user.dart file that we need. OK, so now this is us accessing the user data from the provider. OK, we specify what type of data we actually need here, the user, so that it knows what stream to actually listen to. Because right here, we're saying it's a user that we're receiving through the stream. So right here, we're accessing that user data every time we get a new value. OK, so what I'm going to do, first of all, is just print out this user when we get it. I'm going to save this and I'm going to open up the terminal and go to debug console. And you can see that now we're printing out instance of user down here. I'm going to refresh so we can see that from the start. First of all, we get null. So that's when Firebase auth has not yet initialized and we don't have a valid user value. And then we get instance of user. OK, so it would be nice to be able to see this in action when we sign out too, and update the UI dependent on the data that we get. So we're going to do that in the very next lesson.